This technology plan presentation is by Ben Waits for Information Systems Management EDLD 5362. The presentation will cover the National Education Technology Plan, or NETP, the Texas Long Range Plan for Technology, Irving Independent School District's Profile and Long Range Plan for Technology, and personal recommendations and references. An effective technology plan is based on the shared vision of educators, parents, community members, and business leaders who have technological expertise. It ensures that technology strengthens existing curricula and supports meaningful, engaged learning for all students. The National Education Technology Plan, or NETP, includes five essential areas as for learning, assessment, teaching, infrastructure, and productivity. The NETP is an extensive plan, but includes several recommendations that are easy to illustrate. The NETP recommends adequate connectivity for all schools, including broadband internet. It encourages each school to include one-to-one -one initiatives, whereby every student has one mobile computing device. It encourages open content for all curriculum. It also suggests that we research and develop using gaming, simulations, and virtual worlds for instruction. School districts should also be transitioning to cloud computing to help offset costs and reduce required IT personnel. Computerized assessments should be adaptive and accessible for all students, and it also suggests changes in the current laws to better reflect today's technology. Texas has also created its own long-range plan for technology. The long-range plan for technology from 2006 to 2020 directly supports the mission of Texas public education by ensuring an engaging, relevant, and future-focused system of education for young Texas learners, preparing each student for success and productivity as a lifetime learner, a world-class communicator, a competitive and creative knowledge worker, and an engaged and contributing member of the emerging global digital society. The Texas LRPT is also a robust plan, but includes several recommendations. All learners have access to relevant technology and resources to be successful in collaborating and solving real-world problems. All educators are prepared and develop new learning environments utilizing technology as a tool for learning. All leaders develop and support educators and students in the use and leverage of technology and infrastructure that is ubiquitous, stable, and secure. My home district is the Irving Independent School District and has created a technology plan with respect to the national plan and the Texas plan. Its stated purpose is as follows. Irving Independent School District has prepared this long-range technology plan to articulate a common vision for technology in the district and identify the strategies that will help us use technology to promote student achievement of rigorous curriculum standards and the development of critical thinking skills that are essential for academic and workplace success. Irving ISD has a total of over $45 million in technology expenditures. It services almost 35,000 students and spends about $1,300 per student on technology expenditures. There are 2,028 classrooms across 39 campuses, all with direct internet connections, which averages to about two students for every computer. All high schools are one-to-one -one campuses where each student is issued a laptop computer for them to use in class and at home. Irving created its technology plan using a technology committee comprised of administrators, teachers, students, parents, and community members. They met to construct a vision for the future and provide direction for the district, while also ensuring that their technology plan complied with all state and federal regulations. The rationale for the technology plan is as follows. It is vital for the 21st century learning. Technology should be integrated throughout the curriculum. All students, K-12, through are supported by personal computing devices. Technology makes learning interesting, motivating, and relevant. Tools for teaching and management information should be included. Students should be responsible for their own learning, and curriculum and learning materials should be accessible at all times. The goals of the technology plan were to infuse higher level thinking, support assessment and planning, educate all students and teachers in responsible technology use, ensure ongoing professional development, ensure 100% administrative participation, provide leadership, and ensure a stable and robust infrastructure. Like the National and Texas Technology Plans, Irving's plan incorporates four major areas, 
integration of technology into teaching and learning, professional development, administration and support services, and infrastructure. In the realm of teaching and learning, the Technology Committee came up with these several goals. To integrate technology application TEKS and higher order thinking into 100% of curriculum areas. To increase technology integrations annually to provide adequate technology. To educate students on the appropriate use of all technology and the internet. And to improve instructional practice, model lifelong learning, and exhibit leadership. For professional development, the committee decided that we should orient teachers in appropriate use of technology, orient teachers in internet safety, provide job embedded technology training, and provide technology integration training. For administration and support services, we should increase administrator participation in use of technology, establish, communicate, support, and monitor expectations for technology integration, and model ways to address students' diverse learning styles, working strategies, and abilities. And lastly, for infrastructure for technology, the committee would like to achieve and maintain a one-to-one -one personal computing device initiative, provide adequate technology for all campuses, identify needs, procure and maintain technology resources, increase reliability to ensure dependable and continuous operation, and develop a sustainable system. As you can see from this technology plan budget, Irving Independent School District spends well over $13 million every year, including an additional $4 million in the 2010 budget year, on additional equipment. With such a high expenditure of funds, the Technology Committee came up with several ways of evaluating the current methods of the plan. Review progress at least once a year, report to the Superintendent and Irving ISD Board, update the plan as needed, review data each year to measure effectiveness, also review the staff development records, review tax and star data for the scores of the district, review data from network monitoring tools, track parent phone calls and website hits, and use project management tools to review other aspects of the plan. Irving has created a robust plan that is modeled after the national and Texas plans. My personal recommendations would be to continue to evaluate and adjust the plan as needed. Focus on ongoing and in-class staff development and support to ensure teachers are comfortable with using technology. Consider and research open source software to help reduce costs. And develop a plan to educate students on responsible use of technology during the school day to help them stay focused in the classroom.